What's going on, people? Cornell's England podcast show with your boy Cornell the House back again. And today I'm doing a review of England versus Romania. Before we get into the video, please leave a like and a subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, leave a comment down below and tell me your thoughts about England's 1-0 win against the Romania in the final friendly before the Euros start next week. And before our game next Sunday, next Sunday against the Croatia. So without further ado, let's get on with the England podcast show. Back again. So we England win one nil narrowly, um, despite that we had two clear chances through Sancho um, and through Calvert Lewin. Both of them hitting the post. Um, James Ward-Prowse playing. What a player James Ward-Prowse is. Um, I really like. I really like the way how James Ward-Prowse really plays. And it'd be very interesting to see who Gareth Southgate picks. Will he pick um, Ward-Prowse? Will he pick Lingard? Will he pick any of the sta any of the ones that's on standby? He. It, it's going to be interesting in the next 48, 24 hours to see who he picks. For me, um, I mean, I'm not being disrespectful. I'd rather pick Lingard. But every time you look at Ward Prowse, you need War. You need War Prowse in your team. With with all due respect, I mean, War Prowse. I mean, if War Prowse didn't come off the pitch today, I think we could have had two goals and we would have won two nil because we could have had two or two more because Romania was looking somewhat threatening. They they tried to have the possession, but we. As soon as Bellingham came on, as soon as Trippier came on, everything just changed. And then Rashford scoring the penalty, Marcus Badman Tig Rashford doing what he does best. What a penalty. And obviously, Grealish, I mean, this is the reason why he has to start against Croatia next Sunday. He has to start either with either Folden on the right or put Sancho or Sterling Despite that Sterling ain't been in the best of forms, I'd rather put um, um, Foden and have Grealish um, playing um, alongside Harry Kane. And for me, it was a it, it wasn't about the result. It was about the players' fitness, seeing who is willing to step up to the plate next week when we England take on the Croatia. I mean, obviously, yes, we gotta be. I mean, wise of of Croatia because Croatia have brilliant players. They've got Modric in their team who is an experienced midfielder who knows how to put the ball. Um, Perisic as well, another player who's also uh, another a target as well. But I believe so much that we, England, I mean, I mean, there's going to be positives and negatives as well. But for me, I believe that we, England, can top the group, win the remaining games against Scotland and against the Czech Republic and, and see where it takes us and see what happens throughout, throughout the, the whole tournament. For me, it's positive vibes right now for, for England right now. I mean, I mean, obviously Gareth Southgate is absolutely clueless. I'm, 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 I'm just bothered about the players, how well they perform. Because we've got the attack. We've got the players to make something happen. And then, of course, Bellingham coming on. That changed something. But Jordan Henderson, I mean, only criticism I'll probably give, I would not have had Jordan Henderson taking the penalty. I would have rather have Calvin Lewin. Calvin Badman Ting Lewin taking the penalty because it's a striker's job. I mean, listen, he's been out for three, four months, which is Jordan Henderson, yeah? But but obviously, you know, he thought, oh, he wanted to score. I mean, yeah, he didn't score against the, the Columbia. We get that. But for me, Calvin Lewin should be taking the penalty and it could have been two, but it doesn't matter. We got the result. The result is what matters. We are ready for the Euros. And come next Sunday, home turf, home soul, my hometown London, Wembley Stadium. We are going to beat Croatia and we're going we're gonna to get that three points in the first game of the group stages of the Euros. Because anything is possible for England when the players put their mind to it. It's about playing for the shirt. Believe that. I believe it so everyone should be believing that England can go all the way to the final because I believe it. Anyway, thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next video when we England beat the Croatia next Sunday. Back again!